All right. Buffalo out. Jody, I want to see your Michael Shaker guitar, your Dean guitar one of these days. Yeah, it's a harmless rebel. Big contest video here. On my broken iPad too that I broke last night. Don't even know if this is going to work. Picture is not looking good. <laughs> anyway, congrats on having a record store. Wow. I know this is my second attempt at this. I deleted the first one by mistake and don't know how to restore it. So um, you've heard all this junk before, but um, what song was that that was playing? A band called Taurus. The song's called Paper Chaser. It's on this comp, uh, Metal Explosion, from the Friday Rock Show. BBC, I think. But anyway, uh, you wanted names for uh, the record store. So here's a bunch right here. I don't know if this will show up. Rather than me say it. There you go. You can pause on there. Just to play on the word rockin' or riff or riffin'. Just cause kind of... Find if I ever read a like a Martin Popoff book or whatever those style of books, you know, sometimes they use the word R A W K and it covers the whole gambit of the rock that I like. Um So I guess the rest is just uh talking about stuff I'd want in a record store. The bargain bin Even if it's ninety nine percent all full retail, I always get excited to go this one store in Vancouver was like that. Oh, heavy retail, high retail, and, but they'd always have this little bar, $5 bargain bucket thing and I'd be down on my hands and knees digging through it and uh, usually find a couple of really good things and then I ended up getting sucked into buying one or two or whatever more of the full retail things, so I guess I'm just stupid, but it's just part of the fun. You feel excited getting a little digging done and then... Uh, the impulse shopping starts. But uh, that's about it. I did a really long video the last time, so I'll just do a short one now. Um, so congrats, Congr that's fantastic. Um, but if I find out that the Village People YMCA has played on that record store, I'm gonna get it shut down. I'm gonna phone bylaw and shut it down. Okay, anyway. Oh, the other thing, oh, sorry, I shouldn't, that I did mention was, uh, if there's someone walking around in the store, I've always wanted the clerk to come up to me and say, hey, is there anything you'd want to hear? Well, of course there is, you know. <laughs> Where do I start? Flight of the Rat by Deep Purple, and uh, instead of hearing music that it, you don't like, it's like, that drives you out of there, hearing music you don't like, and uh, I know the workers who work there really should get the priority, but... Hopefully you can find some common ground and uh, both enjoy it. And then the atmosphere is great. And um, like in Ottawa, they're playing a uh, pressure point from Angel off a hell of a band. What a song! And I'm like, whoa, what a cool store! Like, instead of hearing some standard stock stuff. But anyway, you might, if you want to get rich, though, you want to. Get rich quick scheme. Get a bunch of Scott Waters autograph material and sell it for a tidy profit. I don't know. You may have a stampede of girls there. I mean, he's he's the American version of Justin Bieber, or so he tells me. So, um, as long as you don't mind having a whole bunch of girls stampeding in there, it's. <laughs> So anyway, uh, really love your channel. Everyone must know your channel. 585 subscribers. I don't know what it is now. You may have hit the 600 mark since the contest started. But anyway, just going to rock out here in the end here. This song's phenomenal. It's like Molly Hatchet type thing. But this is 1980, new wave of traditional heavy metal comp. And, uh, so anyway... 
Thanks, Harmless Robo. Love your videos, all of them, except for the country music one, but... Okay, bye-bye.